Hi Gemini's, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your December 11th, 2017 reading. Welcome to those of you who are new. Thank you to those of you who have followed me from the beginning and who come to me for regular weekly, monthly, and yearly readings. Uh, thank you for those of you who like, subscribe, and who share and comment on how these uh, readings help as you allow spirit to come into your path and make your path here on earth much more smooth and content and joyful. So I laid out some cards, got an overall energy read. I prayed over the cards. I blessed them with my stones. I have a big ritual and actually I'm probably going to raise these up to 45 at least because I spend so much time prepping. Um, I'm starting out with the Sacred Circle Tarot deck by Anna Franklin and Paul Mason and I'm going to do a circle spread. The card representing your current life path here on earth at this time is the Page of Discs. So some of you may have heard of an opportunity when it comes to finances and or maybe you've uh, connected with someone who has, maybe you guys have earth in your chart. I feel like you're hearing good messages about health or the health of someone young who may have earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or who is just a young person that you were praying for. All right, in your thoughts position, we have the shaman energies. So some of you are contemplating the fact that you ended up in a path that maybe you didn't even belong in, and now you're back centered again, and you have the shaman energies to be able to start to manifest a brand new path for yourself. Some of you may be contemplating, um, you know, that path just wasn't for me. It became more of a burden. I need to make some changes at this time. And then maybe by the, the 17th, I'll have come full circle. Some of you are trying to decide about love. I can't help but ignore, I can't ignore that you want, and I'm surprised because Gemini's were kind of waffling on this from what I see, whoever's energies it is that I'm reading, that you're actually contemplating this person um, a long-term commitment or whether or not maybe that you want one. All right, so, wow. All right, so the card representing your current life path in combination with the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland for clarification of each step we're going to take through this Celtic spread. Circle spread, I'm sorry. We have temptation here, okay? So we have a new message coming from somebody and it is a temptation. You guys are tempting someone, someone may be tempting you. Maybe a temptation has been harmful to your health or a temptation of a person. It's like they were exciting at first and now you're contemplating, are they good for me? Are they not good for me? In your mental aspects position, you're trying to get to the truth of a situation so that you can continue to manifest what is best for you. Makes sense. In your relationship sector, we have patience and planning. Okay, taking the time. In relation to business or finances, however it applies. Taking your time also to contemplate maybe a new path in finances or a new opportunity that's very passionate and exciting. Could be love, could be a creative project or small business. In your foundation, we've got the World Tree card. Beautiful. So you can bring a path to a close and step into a new one if you so choose. But be aware of what this new path looks like because it is under the card of temptation. All right, when I see this card, I see this path over here, which is bright and shiny, shiny, sunny and beautiful, exciting, fulfilling. Then we have this path, which is traveled by many of mystery and wonder and attractiveness, but it leaves them kind of lost. It leaves them wondering. It leaves them unfulfilled. Or you've got this path down here. And this is the path of someone who's very enchanting or handsome who will eventually devour you so in your foundation in your creative uh, aspects position 
you come into awareness of what this brand new path is. And you have the magician energies to actually manifest it. And maybe the next three to five days. Wow. All right, so in your actions position, we've got material harvest. This is what you put in is what you receive. All right, so putting in the work and receiving maybe even tenfold. It could be connecting with others. But I see material here because of the prosperity. I also see, though, that the seed is not a coin. It's a seed. It's When we're speaking of prosperity, it could very well be that you are planting a new seed with someone or on your own and through tending to that harvest, things are starting to grow. That could be how it pertains to your life, okay? I'm not going to continue to say finances, love, because it's obvious that it could happen in finances or love. What you reap, you will sow. And someone is sowing. Someone has started. If not, it's in the actions position. So this week is a good week to start focusing on what it is you want to reap and sow in this new path. What is the awareness you're going to come to when it comes to a creative idea or path or when it comes to something that you get passionate and excited about? Take some time in the beginning of the week to passionately, uh, to be patient and plan because of this temptation here. Get to the truth of this situation this week. In your emotional aspects position, we have the three of discs. Sometimes this is an emotional situation about three people, or this is uh, two different financial opportunities or two different ideas in general. But it's about dedicating yourself to yourself first and then breaking through with triumphant success in however this new path is to you. This new path is an offer from the universe and it is double-edged, right? So emotionally, it's gonna be very exciting because it's new, but psychologically and emotionally, it might be a little bit hard because you have to cut away from old connections, places, people, things, experiences, paths that you were on. But I do see, look at this, good health is heading towards this brand new path that you're breaking through into once you decide to dedicate yourself to yourself through passion, through patience and planning, through being creative, through contemplating and coming into awareness about where this path is leading you. In your subconscious, you or someone else may be in a position of leadership. Maybe you're focused on business and finances and it's blocking you from being able to go in the direction of a temptation. Here you are, leader of a business, a, a well-paying position. Maybe some of you Geminis either have this earth energy in your chart or you're dealing with someone who could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. I have it in their chart, but I think either way, it's mental conflict to me subconsciously about where you're at now and what you could create moving forward. So now this week is a time of patience and planning to get to the truth of a temptation, of a tempting new path by deciding who you're dedicated to most, which should be you. And then taking action day to day, minute to minute of every day this week to plant, to harvest, and then to see prosperity. In your practical day-to-day -day matters position, there are going to have to be the steps of sacrificing something when you come into awareness of this new path. It could be that old path. It could be, I have to remain dedicated to myself and I have to let go of the people of the past so that I can have triumphant success and fulfillment. Look at this. If you take the steps to sacrifice that which has been, there will be a fulfillment of wishes. Beautiful. Wow. It's above health. And it's above this new path. For some of you, this new path is very healthy for you. You've been in a situation of temptations, but it's caused mental conflict. So it's time to become the leader of your own path and to be patient and plan for something that fulfills you. 
subconsciously. No, inner strengths. I'm, I apologize. Inner strengths. You have the ability with the inner strengths energies to maybe go and have a conversation with someone who is a fire sign, Sagittarius, or Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, older person. You have the inner strengths to be able to do this. It's lined up with action. To plant those seeds. To tend to that harvest and to observe prosperity. You have the strength to take those steps and do that this week. But there's a shadow side here, and this may be the temptation. You have the inner strengths energies to deal with that shadow side, and we all have one. However that means to you. You have the ability to stand strong against your shadow side that might be linked to temptation in a new direction. What are you going to reap and sow? Pray for guidance at this time during this week. It's a time of changes for sure. In the first couple days, you could find reward because you are contemplating and getting to the truth of the situation about a path by which maybe you've been hoping and wishing and praying for and with the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Not only are your wishes coming true, but they're going to be more fulfilling than you expected. Because what? Because you went on an adventure. You decided to step into this journey. We do have an ending card, like we talked about with the sword. In order to transform into this new beginning, you need to end something to start anew with maybe someone who has water in their sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Just make sure you and the other person do not have any ulterior motives. Drop any old temptations, any old shadow sides. So you can shine completely like the sun and feel like a kid again. Yeah, some of you are going to be reborn this week. Wow, big week. Gemini's. In the next two to three weeks, it's applying your skill, but be careful. Every move that you make, like the spider on this web, will eventually reverberate and affect others down the line. Don't find yourself in delusion and fantasy. Take the steps, actions, phone calls, whatever you have to do to get to whatever this direction may be. Sometimes with the chariot, we don't know exactly where we're going, but we're taking the steps to get there, knowing that the chariot represents success. All right, I'm going to explain an energy here, but I'm not going to do the reading for that person. I just want to say someone here is dealing with trying to come up against some rivalry, watching something crumble with maybe a husband material or someone who represents husband energy and it's a new path that maybe you guys are unsure of. It could be a blessed path, but it has to be done properly and honestly. And it's going to take some time and patience. There may be suffering because of maybe too many people in this situation. So it's a time to really come into awareness this week. All right. In the outcome position, by the end of the week into the weekend, we have nostalgic energies. Am I going to continue to think about these empty cups? Or am I going to cut out of this path and move into something fulfilling? But I'm worried about money. We should not worry about money. It darkens our aura and it actually repels opportunities for money to come in. So when you feel like you're clinging tight or worried about cash, go and give it away to a charity or open doors for people or do things for others. Create um, something you can with your own two hands, a talent, a skill, and apply that and give it away for Christmas. But this speaks of karmic blessings. Earning karmic blessings by expressing yourself. Then, spirit saying, you can come out of your head, out of the conflict and frustrations and the past negative energies and start to find solace in your path ahead. It's about grounding yourself. We are never stuck in any way, shape, or form. I think someone's going to abandon a situation and be happy 
that they did and maybe follow a small cup of love and hopes for harmony and contentment and maybe even a connection and I do see success and courage but again a lot of time and I think that time is especially speaking of recovery emotionally and a new path traditionally wanting to maybe do things properly somehow because I see someone coming to a resolution in a kind way with the flowers there as things happen quickly and there's a lady in the center of whatever's going on okay Whoever's energies those are, again, this is a general reading, so I only pull so many messages. Um, I had a few cards I pulled from, actually four, from the uh, Oracle of the Mermaid's Deck by Lucy Cavendish. The first card spoke of dreams. I don't know if some of you have been having dreams, but they would be very vivid dreams. Pay attention, start a journal. Write them down because something in this new path is being told to you. The Song of the Sirens. Maybe you are connecting with someone and you feel like... Maybe you just feel like you're being called in a direction. That's what I'm feeling. Those are the energies I'm feeling. Reflections. What you contemplate on can actualize. So what if it did? What would you do if you finally received what you wanted? It's about your homeland. There's going to be an arrival. The end of a journey and establishment. Somebody may be moving. Maybe that's what you guys are thinking about. And when you move, there's going to be great prosperity because you're going to reap what you sow. You're going to, in the process, heal and let go of some sort of shadow side. And through sacrifice in your life, there's going to be the fulfillment of wishes and a long-term commitment. So I think love will come, not in the way someone is expecting. Um, I'm gonna quick ask for some spiritual guidance by using the Wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cast and Colette Baron reed Clarification, please, of spiritual guidance for this week of December 11th, 2017. So you guys are going to learn something from a message about maybe finances that's going to give you a lot of confidence. In your thoughts, you may have to sacrifice something to figure out where is it that I truly belong. The High Priestess of Earth is in your foundation, taking care of you when it comes to finances, helping to guide you in the right path. In the past, you guys spend a lot of time thinking in the couch, in the woods, in your grove, with your kitty cat and your blanket. What if, as I move forward in this path, this person puts up a wall? What if I'm blocked out? Well, you have control over the next four to six weeks, Gemini, or days, sorry, weekly, to decide by connecting and learning with great confidence is someone deceiving you or not? Spirit is telling you, you're only seeing a small piece of a big puzzle. Don't automatically think it's a bad thing. You may be looking at a small piece and it may be the dark, ugly piece of a really bright, beautiful puzzle of a sunrise. In your hopes and fears, are there fears about moving on? You are alone. You are moving and you are steadfast and you are strong and you can handle it. Have hope that you can move forward, that you can take whatever steps you are asking yourself if you should take it this time. Know that in the end there is going to be great success. You're being called for a reason. This is awesome. So to me, the shadow side is speaking for someone about cycles. This is something that you do, you continue to do, you do it over and over again, and every time you end up with the same undesirable results. So it's about figuring out what these cycles are and stopping them in their tracks and changing them. The High Priestess of Fire is guiding your way in the right direction, making sure that all steps required are being made to free you from feeling trapped. 
there's some sort of honesty here that you need to come to and through within yourself. Know that you have the energies of the warrior card to face a situation. That may seem complicated at this time, but Spirit's saying, be loyal, yes, to others, but most importantly, Gemini, be loyal to yourself. Let go of a situation and have hope. Yes, that person may be different than you. We all are. Why? Because we have a white cat and a black here, cat here, and they're both cats. So we would expect them to behave and be exactly the same, right? But we know they're not. They've experienced different things in their path. They have different viewpoints, different objectives, different perspectives. But we all experience the same lessons. We just experience them at different time and in different ways, and etc. It, 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 so just because someone's different doesn't mean they aren't the right one. It's about trying to open yourself to who they are without trying to make them be who you think they are, if that makes sense. And that's where I feel this denial is. Being in denial of something that you know connects with your individuality. Oh, beautiful. This could be interesting. So meditate, Spirit's saying. They want to manifest what you want in your life, but they need for you to ask for that through prayer so they can get the energies. They need you to take some steps so they can use those energies to light up this path before you with hope. You may be wishing for something in the next two to three days, but Spirit's saying be careful what it is that you're wishing for. Wait a little bit until you have the understanding through patience and planning about some new creative idea path project connection because there is a bit of a reminder here it's a tombstone that says don't forget so don't forget something that transpired in the past before you hop skip and jump and take a risk into your future we have beauty here but sometimes beauty is only skin deep so make sure you stand by with your boundaries that somehow you ended up with a blindfold on and ended up forgetting about the High Priestess of Water here is to help you to handle your emotions and still stand strong with an oath that you are taking to yourself. If someone whose energies I'm pulling are summoning in lust, that's fine. Lust is great. But remember, lust is a draw. It is an energy that brings you into love with someone. And once you are into love with someone, lust dissipates and you become day-to-day -day best friends, right? Everything that transpires in our path transpires because we summoned it in. Whether we did it spiritually, consciously, subconsciously, if we don't want something in our path, we don't accept it in, right? But when we do, we need to be careful you have the strength, Spirit's saying, to be careful. Look at the size of that tree. You have the strength to avoid a doorway that is blocked by a wall. A doorway that Spirit is saying forbidden. It's forbidden. At some point you may receive a message and that message is going to build you with great self-worth because you decided to hang back and to wait for the High Priestess of Spirit to guide you towards fulfillment, knowing that you don't really have to take any steps. All you have to do is be playful through and end to the end of this week into the weekend. Cut out any chaos in your life. Become quiet. Contemplate and focus on what tr love truly is to you. What's the difference between lust and passion and romance and love? You have the choices angel who has a white wing and a black wing. What is the right choice? And what is the wrong choice? Create a vision for yourself this week and listen not to what's being said, but to the actions of others. Do they line up? Because you may find yourself focusing very quickly on bringing something to an end. And I want to clarify what this ending is with a Lenormand, please, for Gemini. 
If I mentioned another sign on accident, I apologize. I've been doing a lot of readings. This is definitely for Gemini. This is Gemini going through major change, feeling burdened and attached to a particular location, situation, maybe their own backyard, and they're connecting out maybe a little bit to society and realizing that um, they want to maybe open their heart to something long term. So we do see a conclusion here. We do see some luck finally. We see travel, maybe, but there's a big message here. Gemini's for this week, it's important to remember that the broom represents sweeping away or the sweeping away of old shame and guilt so that you can connect with someone maybe who has brown hair, someone who lives in the mountains. Maybe this is about brushing away shame and guilt tied to a long and difficult path because you don't have to, that's what it is you're putting an end to a long and difficult path awesome so your word of prayer for this week Gemini's is health my prayers for healing miracles have been heard and answered amen to that so to close I'm going to read from the book This card comes to you as reassurance that your prayers about health and healing have reached heaven above. They may be answered differently than you expect. However, it is important to stay alert and open to your intuitive feelings, which guide you to take action steps. Take them, even if they seem illogical or unrelated to your prayers altogether. Mother Mary sends you and your loved ones her blessings. Like her, you can receive and transmit God's magnificent healing love. You may even feel called to conduct healing sessions professionally. And this card assures you that your calling is fully supported by heaven. So your prayers about health have been answered. Now you get to move towards success. Sounds like a wonderful week, Gemini. Take care and God bless.